June the 18th, willows, poplars and rare trees. Willows generally, with the exception of weeping willows, Salix babylonica, and contorted willows, Salix matsudana tortuosa, are another group of difficult trees to identify. There are perhaps 30 different wild willows in London, and many hybrids. On top of this, there are all the garden willows, with all their coloured and variegated forms. Again, it is easier than usual to attempt to identify some of them this month. White willows, said its alba, have narrow silver back leaves, which are more downy than other willows. The tips of their leaves are also slightly bent over. The closely related cricket back willow, said its alba, cerulea, has leaves that are blue-grey in colour giving the whole tree a bluish look. This is one of the fastest growing trees in Britain and can often be seen at the edges of fields, especially in Essex. The goat or pussy willow, said its capria, is everywhere. There is waste ground, as it is such a good coloniser. It has a broadly elliptical leaf with prominent veins and a leaf tip that is decidedly bent over. The crack willow, said its fragilis, and the osier, said its viminalis, both have long, narrow, pointed leaves. This month, the underside of osier leaves are both downy and silvery, whereas those of crack are neither. The leaves of the bay willow, said its patandra, are strongly aromatic. The leaf of the almond leaf willow, said its triandra, is far more almond-shaped than the others. The eared willow, said its arita, is one of the easiest to identify because of its small leafy growths or ears at the base of its petioles. The purple willow, willow said its purpurea, which is popular with gardeners, has great, f gracefully arching purple shoots. It can be checked by scraping slightly younger shoots. The tissue below the surface is a surprising bright yellow. The violet, the violet willow, said its daphnoides, also has purple shoots, but they are also covered with a white bloom. The shapes alone of weeping and contorted willows make them easier than others to identify. Hybrids are generally much harder to separate, as they have so many mixed characters. More unusual willows we're seeking out in gardens are the silver willow, said it's Ar Alba argentia, which has more silvery leaves than most, and the coral bark willow, said it's Alba britsensis, which has an attractive pink bark. The tiny, unobtrusive, wild creeping willow, Salix repens, can still be found in Epping Forest. Different poplars are usually another headache to tell apart. Once again, it is slightly easier when their leaves are fully developed. Poplars, beside water, are usually grey, black or hybrid black. The base of the leaf in a black poplar, Poplus nigra, is distinctly straight, forming a distinct spade shape. In a hybrid bat poplar, popular canadensis, it is a weakly heart-shaped. The veins on the leaves of both trees are also differ. The veins on black poplars are more extensive and more clearly branched than those of the hybrid. Grey, grey poplars, grey poplars, populus canescens, are often confused with white poplars, populus alba. The undersides of grey poplar leaves tend to be grey as compared to the felted white colour of white poplars. The leaves of aspens, populus tremula, are much more oval than the rest and also have a wavy outline. If the smell of western balsam poplars, populus trichocarpa, is not enough to recognise them by, then their leaves are distinctly arrow-shaped. Similarly, Lombardy poplars, populus nigra italica, are instantly recognisable from their tall, thin silhouette, but their leaves are also recognisable as their diamond shape. Hybrids once again are much harder uh, proposition. Other rarer foreign poplar, poplars can be found in park collections. Worth seeking out is the Berlin poplar, popular Berlinensis, Canizaro Park, Populus Simonii, Acton Park, and the Chinese necklace poplar, popular Populus Thresium Carpa, Battersea Park. Other rare trees include some eucalyptus species, for example, eucalyptus globulus, which has exceptionally blue leaves, and eucalyptus leucoxylum, which has attractive shiny red flowers. Quercus ruva aurea, which can be found at Wisley, is an unusual oak with bright yellow leaves. Cornus cusa, with their eye-catching flowers and fruits, and their relatives can also be found there. One distinctive tree in gardens across London at this time is the Maldetna broom, 
genista etonensis, etonensis, which may now be covered head to toe in bright yellow flowers. Although sometimes looking like a shrub, it can grow up to six meters in height. In the wild, it is found high on the volcanic slopes of Mount Etna. June the 18th is traditionally the first day of high summer, yet service trees, Sorbus terminalis, may already be showing the very first hints of some autumn colour.